Uh, I was uh, I was raised by Asians. I know it's a shocker. It's crazy. Being raised by Asians is kind of like being raised by wolves, but with less compassion and understanding. It's completely true. Uh, my mom was kind of a dick. She was. She was kind of a dick, and she was hot too, which made her more annoying. She was like an Asian milf. Uh, she's always been a perfect size zero, like her whole life. I think when she was pregnant, she got all the way up to a size two. Like ah, I'm fat. Shut up. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was really chunky as a teenager, so she used to say things like, Oh, Helen. Oh, it's too bad we cannot share clothes. Too bad. Because your mommy shaped like a chopstick. And you shaped like a pork bun. Like you're a dick mom. <laughs> My parents have been married for uh, almost 40 years. Clap if, you've been, clap if you're married. Thank you very much, yeah. Who's been married the longest in this room, you think? You guys? How long have you been married? 30 years? Really? Oh my god, they look amazing. Are you guys Asian? They look incredible, because we don't age. I mean, I'm 65, but I look amazing. It's true, right? Asian people and black people don't age. Where are the black people? Quick, smile. <laughs> there you are. Like, that black guy is probably 102 years old. And he looks fucking amazing. And have you, sir, have you heard the phrase black don't crack? Yes, I have. Yes, black don't crack is a really cool saying that means black people don't age. I came up with one for Asians. Rice stays nice. Huh? Huh? Thank you. You guys can use it. Okay, you can use it. You guys look really young, despite the fact that you're white. <laughs> I'm serious, you guys need to moisturize. I don't know what's happening there. You've been married for 30 years. To each other. <laughs> like, consecutively. To the same person. For, so what's the secret to staying married for 30 years? Oh, I was gonna say, he doesn't speak, apparently. He, <laughs> she doesn't let him talk. Do you guys still like each other? Oh, they still like each other. Give it up for them. They've been married for 30 years and they still like each other. My parents have been married for almost 40 years and they hate each other. They absolutely despise each other. But they're old school immigrants. So they're never getting divorced. They're totally dug in. At this point, they're just trying to see who's going to die first. They're like, I see you in hell. It's totally true. It's hilarious. So it's funny, because my parents are like old school immigrants, but they hate each other, which makes their nagging very schizophrenic, you know? Because most of the time they nag like every other Korean parent. They're like, Helen, marry a Korean doctor by house, hey baby, oh! But then every once in a while things get so bad between them that they're like, Helen, don't ever marry. It ruin your life. <laughs> Then they look at each other and they go <laughs> Which, if you've never seen an elderly Asian couple hissing at each other, it's a freaking treat, let me tell ya. Your mommy sucks. <laughs> so I'm single. What? I know, it's true. It's terrible. Clap if you're on a date. Who's on, who's on a date tonight? Wow, Burbank is like, screw dating. We don't need that. No, not what? You guys are on a date? You, sir, with the goatee? And yes, yes, yes. You are on a date. You, just, you guys just didn't want to clap at all. We're married, so. You're married. They're like, date. We're married. We haven't been on a date in seven years. How long have you guys been together? Uh, three years. Three years. That's great. So you're still kind of newlyweds, would you say? She's like, no. <laughs> We're almost done, actually. We're almost I'm halfway there, I'm putting in my time, and I'm out. How did you guys meet? Do you mind my asking? You met in college. You met in college? Okay, that's like a nice, normal way of meeting people. Uh, this is how single I am. I am doing an online dating site called OkCupid. Do you guys know about this? She's already making fun of me. For those of you that don't know, OkCupid is the ghettomatch.com. Do you know what makes it ghetto? It's free. It's free. It doesn't even cost the 30 bucks a month. It's for the losers that are like, I want to get laid, but I don't have any money. <laughs> okay, get it. It's right there in the 
name. It's not good Cupid or great Cupid. It's okay. <laughs> Who's done online dating? Anyone? Clap if you have. You? Which one did you do? And how was it? Really not well. Unless you date women. Yeah. You date both, but this is not a date. This is just for your buddy. Okay, so, and, and, and nothing, you didn't get any good dates from Match.com? I got a lot of <laughs> She got comedy, basically. She's writing jokes about it. That's basically my thing, too. Um, everything about it's kind of embarrassing, right? Online dating is a little embarrassing. First of all, you have to find a picture of yourself where you don't look too shitty. <laughs> Which for me is a problem because I have this gigantic Asian face. Like, I'm not a big person, but somehow in all the photos, I'm like, <laughs> I have an hourglass figure that starts at the top of my head. <laughs> she is curvy, that girl. People have been telling me I should try J-Date. Do you guys know what J-Date is? It's the Jewish dating service. That's what the J stands for. People are like, Helen, you should try J-Date. I'm like, I feel like something's gonna give it away. <laughs> but I'm not a member of the tribe. And they're like, no, Helen, Jewish men love Asian women. I'm like, that's true. You know who doesn't love us? Jewish women. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, get away from my doctor slash lawyer slash finance guy. Or I will cut you with this bagel slicer. Wow, three of you know what Jews are. This whole section is like, what do bagels have to do with it? They eat bagels, sometimes they put salmon on them. It's crazy. There are wild people to choose. I just broke up with, um, I was dating a guy for two and a half months on OkCupid, and it, it seemed really promising until we had the DTRT, the Define the Relationship Talk. You know, it was burning a hole in my brain, like, from the minute we started dating. And, like, he's meanwhile like, uh, how long can we go without having this def define the relationship talk? So I'm like, hey, are you dating other people? And he goes, um, uh, I'm wrapping up loose ends. And by wrapping up loose ends, he meant, uh, by wrapping up, he meant sticking my penis. And by loose ends, he meant other vaginas. So that's where that ended. And ever since we broke up, I've been on like a tailspin. Like, I've gotten this really unhealthy Craigslist furniture shopping addiction. Like, that's all I do. Like, I get home from the shows now, and I'm like, I could either go back on OKCupid okay and find a boyfriend, or I could look at rugs. I have seen every rug in Southern California in the past two months. Craigslist furniture shopping is amazing. You know you can buy amazing stuff on the Craigslist. Did you know the other day I saw on Craigslist furniture um, a suit of armor? Like if I wanted to go jousting with King Arthur, you can actually find stuff to like a full suit of armor on Craigslist. I also saw um, a sex swing like a sex bench thing that kind of looks like a bench press but then there's like a thing that attaches and a penis flies into it. And I was looking at this thing like, how much Clorox bleach do you need to buy a used sex bench? You can buy all kinds of sex things on Craigslist Furniture. Like, uh, I also saw you can, uh, some guy was selling a stripper pole. And the funniest part was he was like, and I'm happy to deliver it, ladies. Like, free delivery to your house. I'm like, I bet you are. 